These are all things, practical things that our viewers can do if they mm -hmm. want to provide some level of protection. And this is just one area. Correct. They, they need to protect their bank account with yep. cyber capabilities. They need to have uh, the ability to uh, protect their home in various ways. Uh, but this is for personal protection. These are the steps that they need to follow. I agree. And like we talked about, firearms are simply one of the tools available, but it happens to be one of the most effective tools, one of the most consistently, uh, uh, one of the most consistent tools that can be applied. Um, and it, it's, it, it, it's very awkward to overlook firearms if you are serious about self-defense within your home, uh, potentially within your vehicle, potentially within your place of work, depending on, on where that happens to be and what the rules and regulations are there. And it's a constitutional tool. It, Absolutely. It is something we have a right to have. Yeah but we have a responsibility associated with it. Well, our society functions on the presupposition that we each have the ability and some measure of competence at defending ourselves in the first place. Case law supports the fact that, that uh, law enforcement officers aren't, aren't responsible for saving you from something. That, that motto, protect and serve, was a motto. It's not, it's not a mandate of any agency. Um, now, a lot of law enforcement officers do the best they can to protect you. They do the best they can to respond but um, when you're under attack, uh, 911 is anywhere from uh, a couple of minutes to much, much, much longer away in, in response time. Especially in emergency situations. Exactly right. Yeah, so be, in all honesty, the first responder is the individual that's under attack. The concept that any, any external actor is a first responder is a little bit misleading. And we have a responsibility to our families. I totally To protect agree. our families, our children, our, our spouses. Absolutely. I think, I think that's, that's completely true, particularly as, as a mature adult. Um, I, think, I think to have an expectation that there is some other entity out there that, that protects our families, protects ourselves omnipotently, um, with the exception of talking uh, uh, outside the, 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 the physical world, um, I think we bear responsibility for ourselves and, and, and the people we care about. The idea that, that an external agency is, is, is capable, even if, if they wanted to under the best of circumstances, uh, to act as an individual uh, bodyguard for any individual citizen is, is not happening unless you happen to be an it's individual that, that has a protective detail assigned right. to you. Unless you paid the money Correct. and hired someone, it's not reasonable to expect that. And you certainly can't expect that from law enforcement. We love and appreciate yep. the men and women in law enforcement, but they can't cover every home perfectly. That's exactly right. And they're even, and like we, we discussed, case law doesn't mandate uh, that they value your life above their own. Um, tactics, when I'm teaching hostage rescue tactics to any law enforcement agents or any other personnel, a presupposition of under, undertaking a hostage rescue effort is that you value the hostage's life above your own. Um, otherwise, the correct course of action would be to simply not get involved. Uh, so in order to get involved to intervene, you have to accept that paradigm that you're valuing the hostage's life above your own. Um, but is that actually screened for and tested and evaluated in, in every employee of every agency? No, of course it's not. And we've seen in, in, in a recent active shooter incident in South Florida um, where that was Did not upheld. Well, right. um, and, and it's not for, secret service where yeah. you expect the secret service agent to actually lay down their life if necessary to, to protect who they're guarding. And, and even there, it would be interesting to peel back the nuance of the law and, and what's, what's mandated by regulation. They have a, 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 great, uh, a great history of good performance and self-sacrifice. Right. But when we get down to what's mandated by policy, it's interesting to see where, where the difference between the expectation and the assumption are and what, what is actually mandated.